Hi, today we are out in the garage again. And I'm actually going to use our garage for something besides just a nice place to light a cigar. I'm going to take a shot of fixing our lawnmower. And it seems like, in my brain, the way I visualized it, it seems like it should work. So let me show you what I'm talking about. The other day I was cutting the grass. And as I was cutting it, all of a sudden, this wheel started cambering like that. And then I pulled the lawnmower back and the wheel went like that. It broke clean off the deck. That's what's left on the back side. Now, what I'm going to try and do, I fashioned this hunk of metal. It's just a piece of scrap. And I'm going to, since I don't have a welder, I'm going to try and bolt it on in place right there. And then just run a bolt straight through and bolt the wheel to it. Oops, bolt the wheel to it. This I already loosened. It's a half inch. The axle itself is a half inch. So what I did, I got myself a half inch bowl with washers and such. Half inch nut. I couldn't find a lock nut that came with a nylon inside of it. So I'm just going to use me some thread lock in there. And hope that it holds at least until I can get one of those nylon lock nuts for it. So I'm going to get the drilling holes and we'll see if I can get this done. All right, I got all of the other holes drilled. I'm getting ready to drill the last hole in this. And uh, let me show you my setup for this. Drilling holes with a gimpy hand. I just stuck it in my drill press. It takes a little while to get it all set up and get it centered and all. But, you know, if you got a gimpy hand, that's pretty much what you need. I'm going to go ahead and turn this thing on. Let's get that last hole done. I already have it drilled out to 3 8 of an inch. This is the half inch bit. And away we go. And there we go. Now it's time to see if all this fits back together. Let's check it out, shall we? I know, let me show you how this is all going to go, get, go together. I put the nuts and bolts on it, but um, let me show you the deck real quick here. There's the ugly ragged hole, and I drilled those holes and those holes. That hole is already there. I use that as a locator. You know, so I bolted this thing on, and then I marked where I wanted the rest of the hole. The axle itself is going to go through this half inch hole that I just drilled. So, let's check out how I'm going to do that real quick. Where's my cigar? Ah. Alright, and there it is. Installed on the lawnmower. Very little deflection. No more than the factory setup. Except it doesn't have an adjuster. But we don't usually adjust our lawnmower anyway. To line it up, I took this and that lines up pretty good. And it seems to line up there pretty good. There we go. So hopefully, I got it on there straight. But, you know, it doesn't really matter all that much, just as long as I'm close. Because our yard isn't exactly flat now. 
it's time to take it all back apart, finish up the surfaces, take a wire wheel to that deck and clean it off, and then uh, put a coat or two of paint on it. Alright, I took a wire wheel to it, and I got the rust off of it, and loose paint stuff, gave it a coat of paint on it. I don't care if it doesn't match, it's an old lawnmower and it's all old and funky looking anyway. Got all my nuts and bolts and wrenches and stuff all laid out, ready to put this thing together. I figure that could be a project for tomorrow, or the day after, but once I get this thing all put together, I'm going to want to test it, and see if it works, see if it sits straight. This is going to be interesting. Yeah, maybe not so interesting as um, satisfying, I hope. Well, it's the next day, and I'm getting ready to put the thing together. I got the all the bolts all thread locked. I'm going to do the, uh, the one I'm using as, as an axle a little bit later. And yes, I did check to make sure that there was clearance between the blade and the bolt head, so that should be fine. Well, let's go ahead and put this thing together now. I'll be back. All right, it's done. Now, it's on all fours and it seems to be stable enough. It does play out a little bit, but you know, I don't really care about that. Just so long as it holds the back end of the motor up. Uh, that's my wife out there banging on a, on a nail that she's trying to extract. Anyway, um, that's it for now. We'll see y'all at some other time. Next time I've got a video to upload. Bye.